Membrane Bioreactor, or MBR, is an efficient and cost-effective product for treating municipal and industrial wastewater. The system can produce a high-quality effluent that meets stringent discharge standards and is suitable for reuse. Membrane bioreactors can be customized and built to fit just about any site. This can require additional engineering and may add lead time for delivery and startup. The packaged membrane bioreactor from Coke Membrane Systems offers a convenient alternative to a customized MBR design. A package system consists of pre-engineered assemblies that can be rearranged in a variety of configurations to accommodate the restrictions imposed by floor space limitations. A typical package system consists of an anoxic tank and aeration tanks for biological treatment, an influence screen, a membrane module tank assembly, a filtration and chemical cleaning equipment assembly, and an air blower assembly. Most of these units are pre-plumbed and pre-wired at the factory to reduce installation time and cost. The installer simply connects the pre-assembled units in the field. The compact design of the package system has a small footprint. The building block approach allows the equipment layout to be configured to fit buildings of various sizes and shapes. The system can be easily expanded by adding prefabricated assembly units to the existing treatment operation with minimal interruption. The first step of the treatment process is the mechanical screening of the incoming wastewater. The wastewater enters a screen that is equipped with a 2 to 3 millimeter perforated plate. The solid particles or screenings are retained and continuously removed from the screen unit for disposal. The screened wastewater flows into the anoxic tank. Within the anoxic tank, a submersible mixer blends the screened wastewater with the mixed liquor returning from the membrane filtration tanks at predetermined recycle rates to achieve the desired level of denitrification. In the absence of dissolved oxygen, nitrate is converted to nitrogen gas in the tank. The wastewater flows from the anoxic tank to the aeration tank. Oxygen is supplied using air blowers and a diffused aeration system. A dissolved oxygen sensor monitors the selected range to help the operator maintain nitrification in the removal of organic material. In this oxygen-rich environment, organic material and ammonia nitrogen are biologically oxidized to carbon dioxide, nitrate, and water. A pH sensor is provided in the aeration tank for continuous monitoring of the pH condition. From the aerobic tank, mixed liquor is pumped to the membrane filtration tank for liquid-solid separation. Puron membrane modules are fully submerged in the mixed liquor inside the membrane tank for direct outside to inside filtration. The membrane modules are made up of hollow fibers with a nominal pore size of 0.05 micron. These robust, reinforced, second generation hollow fibers are cast on an internal reinforcing braid to overcome the fiber breakage problems typical of first generation systems. The free-floating tips of the hollow fibers in the single header design of the Puron module also reduce breakage by placing less mechanical stress on the fibers than in modules that use a double header design. The membrane system is equipped with rotary lobe pumps that create suction inside the hollow fibers and draw water through the fiber wall to the permeate collection tank. A programmable logic controller, PLC, automatically controls the filtration and membrane cleaning operations, while a human-machine interface continuously monitors the system performance. The PLC is Ethernet-capable to interact with other plant PLCs or SCADA systems. The rotary lobe pumps periodically reverse the flow at predetermined frequencies and durations to backflush the membrane fibers. Pneumatic valves, as well as pressure, and flow measuring instruments provide continuous monitoring and control of system operation. When cleaning is required to restore the desired flux, a train of membrane modules is isolated from normal operation and sodium hypochlorite and citric acid are sequentially injected into the membrane modules for in-situ chemical cleaning. Excess biomass or sludge generated from the biological treatment process will be wasted on a periodic basis. To maintain the desired solids concentration within the system, sludge is withdrawn from the bioreactor tanks or membrane tank for proper off-site disposal by licensed haulers. Permeate generated from the membrane filtration process is transferred to a permeate collection tank. The high-quality permeate will meet strict local and EPA effluent discharge criteria. In many locations, the permeate is used for cooling tower water makeup, 
irrigation, and toilet flushing. In summary, the Puron MBR package system offers the following benefits. Flexible layout configuration, factory assembled package, easily installed with minimal site preparation, low operating and maintenance cost, fully automated with remote data access.